Welcome to the second section of the vertical sealless pump presentation. The sealless vertical pump was invented by Kessner Engineering in 1930. To strict design criteria, it had to be made of corrosion resistant materials, it had to have a minimum or no maintenance feature, and it had to be as efficient as and more reliable than the run of the mill horizontal pumps of the day. Because shaft sealing, be it a packed gland or the modern mechanical seal, is the Achilles heel of the horizontal chemical pump and is responsible for 90% of maintenance and repairs, the sealless concept was born. And this is how it works. The pump consists of three casings which are separated by two gaskets and clamped together by two clamp rings and bolts. The lower rotor casing houses the inlet or suction port as well as the delivery port. The upper rotor casing, which is cone shaped, fits on top of the lower rotor casing and encases the rotor or the impeller, which is connected directly to the electric motor via a shaft extension. The upper body fits on top of the upper rotor casing and houses the overflow chamber and branch. Liquid is pushed into the eye of the impeller and the impeller then delivers it to the designed pressure. Excess liquid creeps up the shaft and this is where a mechanical seal would normally stop it in horizontal pumps. But in this pump the liquid is allowed to continue until it reaches the thrower which is situated at the top of the upper body and then redirects it down into the overflow chamber and when it builds up to the branch level it simply trickles back into the supply tank or scrubber sump. While the pump is running there will always be a small trickle of fluid flowing out of the overflow branch and because there are no rubbing surfaces within the body of the pump it is capable of running dry indefinitely. It can run against the closed valve indefinitely too and there is no maintenance to be done on the pump set except for the occasional greasing of the bearings of the electric motor if it has grease nipples. A lot of motors have greased for life bearings in which case there is no maintenance. And this is what sets Kessner apart from our competitors. Our experience has shown that the vertical pump seldom requires spare parts within the first five to eight years of operation. This means that the whole life costs of running them is extremely low and certainly much lower than our competitors. The benefit to you, of course, is substantial savings in the long term and no costly downtime due to pump failure. Kessner offer reliable UK customer service assistance with installation design in the form of recommendations and we assist with setup and on-site commissioning in the UK. All Kessner pumps are manufactured to the highest and exacting standards and we provide individual testing of Kessner pumps if and when required.